Okay, let's start off by starting a new enemy studio file. We can have two layers. Click add new layer, vector. We're going to call this one hammer and this one ball. Now, it should be uh, good enough at drawing now. Let's make a simple hammer. Let's draw it here. Okay, now you can color it in. And if you really want, you can adjust the line thickness. Okay, now we need to make the ball. So, let's... Make it a bit bigger if you want. Okay, now I can position them. Okay, now there's several ways to be able to do this. There's one, which we did in the last tutorial, which is you can move the points. If we went to one, we move that like that. Splat. But you see the trouble is, it doesn't look like a hammer falling, because it gets smaller. The reason for that is the points are trying to get from the easiest possible route. So it involves shrinking. Now there is a way to get around this, which is adding in more keyframes in the middle. But it still doesn't look quite right. It's going in and out. We don't want that. So instead of using points for the motion, we can use the layer. We can spin around the layer. Now, if you just got the layer tool right now and try to rotate it, the hammer would rotate in the complete wrong way. We don't want it like that. So what we need it to do is we need to move where the center of the layer is using the set origin tool. If we set this to the bottom of the hammer. Now, when we rotate it, it rotates from the hammer. Now you're noticing that the hammer's not completely hitting the ball, so we can move it slightly. There we go, that's better. So now we'll go to one. And splat. So we've got a hammer now hitting down. To make it look a little bit more realistic, we can change the way that it moves down. You could add in some frames. and then squash them up to create that effect or you could use the type of movement which you right click and if we put ease in it will go slowly in and then go fast out I don't think this creates quite the right effect so I'm going to do it manually so change it to linear we'll add points at all the major uh, frames 6, 12, 18. You can see it goes exactly the same speed all the way through. But we want it to go a lot faster than that. So you see at the start, it starts full, then it goes really fast. Could make it even faster if we really wanted. We could delete these ones. It's all a matter of what you want to do to make it look the best. Okay, on top of that, we're going to make sure that the ball squashes. Now we can use the scale layer tool again. Of course, when we scale it, it goes towards the center. 
So what we want to do is make sure the origin is at the bottom of the ball. So that when we squash it, squash it like that. Just what we want. So let's go to one where you need it to be squashed and squash it down. Trouble is, it starts squashing before the hammer hits it. So we need to make sure we copy the frame when it's not squashed. Which is that point. And paste it here. Copy paste. There we go. Now it looks like it's being squashed. The last thing we can do to make it look a little bit better is add a camera shake. So at this point, we can make sure the camera is static. So we'll add in a frame here. You can look down. There it is. Then on one, you can move it to the side. 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 And then we'll copy that one to make sure it's back to normal. Is boop. Now we can give it a small pause and move it back up to three seconds. Okay, now you can export that if you have Anime Studio Pro. Click File, Export, Entire Animation. OK, desktop, hammer. As I said before, you can now put that into any video editing package that you want. OK, the next tutorial will be on animation using bones and how to set them up.